What up, my BDBK family? We back today with another video. As you guys can see, I have Quavo <coughs> and Quavo only. That's why I'm doing this video to let you guys know uh, that I have Soul and Sasha. I know you guys are probably going to be like disappointed, but it had nothing to do with her. It was more of like my living situation or whatever. Like I told you guys before, I am in a two bedroom apartment. And Sasha needs to be somewhere where she can uh, run around more in the fence. Um, someone that can, like, spend more quality time with her than I can. Um, <clears throat> another reason was because, like I said, uh, <coughs> about the living situation. It's like, if I'm in a two-bedroom apartment, by the time she get ready to breed and mate, like, she, um, she, she, I won't be able to have all those puppies, like in this two bedroom apartment like i could really if i was to get away with it but i just wanted to i just want to wait until i like get a house and more time with the dogs and stuff like that but i think i do okay with quavo <clears throat> for now like just study him out for now until i can move on up and get a home with a yard fence all that for my dog for my dogs and stuff but i was like if i was to have another if i was to have two dogs it would be another another exotic meal that way i won't have to worry about puppies i could just work my way up with studying my dogs out for now you know because you don't want to have all all that all that in no two-bedroom apartment and uh like i said sasha was needing special attention and she's in a very very nice home i'm happy and i can he told me i can always come see her and he actually still wants to make quavo and sasha and he want to make Quavo with his female. So, hopefully we get to work and do some things on that. And I still will be able to... All the um dogs that Quavo <clears throat> get pregnant, I plan on, like, vlogging with you guys. And, like, just to let you guys see what he produces and stuff like that. But, um... Yeah, like I said, she's in a nice home. I'm going to vlog one day and take you, take you guys over there. Let you guys see how she's growing and how she's maturing. Um, <clears throat> like I said, you guys can reach me on Instagram at Billion Dollar Bully Kennels. Uh, and if you guys have any questions about stud fees, about uh, Quavo, about or about just anything, um, I know a lot of you guys been telling me that you guys are like upcoming, upcoming breeders, just like I am. And one thing, like, you, you're going to take a lot of L's. Like, I done sold a lot of dogs. You're going to take a lot of losses in this game. You're going to take a lot of losses in anything that you do when you're trying to achieve your goals and accomplish. That's how you learn, by taking losses, you know? Taking losses is not a bad thing all the time. People look at it like it's a bad thing. And it's really not. You got to do what you got to do. And you got to make the best decision for your kennel because, um, what, Quavo? You dropped your toy? You got to make the best decision for your kennel because nobody know what visions you have but you. Nobody can see your visions or none of that but you. Come here. Come here. Sit down. Sit, 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 sit. Quavo, you messing with my water? You trying to be slick? Huh? Sit down. You know, nobody knows what uh you guys' um visions or goals are but you guys, you know? So don't listen to nobody. Don't make nobody. Don't let nobody make you feel bad, you know, or none of that. Like people gonna talk about whatever you do, whatever decision you make. People gonna talk about you anyway. So don't even let that bother you. But the main thing is just to stay focused. Don't give up. Um, and just do you, pretty much. You know, like I said, we still gonna go see Sasha. You know. We still gonna work with, still work with them guys. Work, we willing to work with, you know, we willing to work with people. Like that's one thing we are willing to do. Cause I want to go out there and meet people that's in the same business as I, as I am. Yeah, this is this is a dog business, a good business to be into, you know. And everything is time. Everything takes time and patience. Quavo, uh -uh, sit down. He trying to go. He trying to go do some other stuff, you guys. Quavo, Quavo, Quavo. Quay, look how big his neck is. Let me get this. He trying to go get his toy. Quay. <clears throat> 
and we're gonna talk more about it probably in the other videos you guys got any questions let me know talk to me i ain't gonna lie y'all i was kind of depressed when i sold her and um a, you know you always you know you you never want to sell your dogs but you don't have room enough for you know you got to make sure everybody has enough room you know what i'm saying so selling the dog is people do it dog breeders do it all the time but you gotta you you know what's best for you you know what's best for your kennel and don't look at it as no bad thing look at it as it's like when you get this when you have to sell one of your dogs look at it as like I saw the dog. I got the dog off. I ain't still sitting on the dog. Look at it. Take look at the good thing at it. Don't always look at the negative thing about it. Like, oh, I sold my dog, and, or let people talk about you that you sold your dog. Look at the, the good thing about it. Come here, quite quite. Here. Look at look at the good thing about it. As like, look at the good thing. Like, uh, you sold a dog. You sold it. You made a sale. That's what I would, that's what I, that's what, that's, look at the positive things. Because a lot of people out there, I know, can't, can't sell nothing. Can't even sell you a dream. And I, I got, I, I sold Sasha for a good price. Cause like I said, I ain't even always about the money. I sold it for what I spent on her. I sold it for back for fifteen hundred. And I really, you know, what I'm saying, I say I, I say I take a loss, but I really didn't. Cause the only thing I paid for was her vet shots. And you want that anyway when bringing another dog into your kennel? You, you know, you want to make sure you get those anyway to protect your other dogs. Come here, come here. You want that to protect your other dogs? You know. So it ain't no, it's it's not a, it's not a, look at Quavo. It's not a loss like that, you guys. Like I say, I just look at it as like, I saw the dog, I got the dog off. Don't let nobody try to talk y'all down or try to put you down or try to put your kennel down. And like I say, yeah, you gonna wanna, I, I paid for her ear croppings and her shots. And then she had a cherry eye. If you guys go back and watch one of my videos to where she had the cherry eye, you guys can see that she had a cherry eye. I paid for that surgery and it was like two fifty. So she got all her shots, the cherry eye, and her ears cropping. You know, you want to keep them healthy. You definitely want to keep them healthy. Quay, Quavo, Quavo. Hey, Quay. But I just want to make this little short video telling you guys what happened i tried to do it we went to the beach the other day and i tried to do it at the beach but it was just so hectic and i couldn't even really record come here sit down where are you going what come here what are you doing y'all he's just all up close on the camera i'm sorry booty all in my face Booty all in my face. He's trying to take his chain off, you guys. So he could bite on it because he don't have nothing to bite on. He's a drooler. He likes to drool. He dropped his toy on the floor. But I feel, uh, you know, a little better. At the I feel better at the decision I made because I get to spend more time with Quavo because he's getting older. He's getting ready to, uh, he's still, he, he's, 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 you know what I'm saying, still uh, maturing and he's getting ready to start breeding. I want to spend, a, you know, spend a lot of time with my dog. Cause I haven't really got a chance to spend a lot of time with him either. So. And he's the head honcho of the BDBK. Yes, sir. I don't care what, I don't care how. What's, what, what next dog come up in here and how exotic they is. Quavo is the, is the head honcho of the BDBK. He the king. Ain't that's right. Quavo, you want that toy so bad, don't you? Don't you? You want that toy so bad, don't you? Let me get it for you. Huh? Quay. Quay. You want me to get it for you? Quay. Please don't put no hole in there and have my bed wet. Please. What? What? Quavo is a, and he's a very good dog, good temperament, very good temperament. Come here, Quay. Come here. 
Let me get your toy for you. He gone, y'all. Here, 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 Quay. Here. <laughs> he just want to run and jump up in my bed. And you guys excuse my house. I'll clean up when I get ready. Stop. You gonna put a hole in it? Quavo, you gonna put a hole in it? Please don't put a hole in that. But yeah, you guys, I get to spend more time with Quavo and he 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 don't really like let it be known that he he will whine and let you know, nobody be attention that he need attention or when he wants some attention. But Sasha, she she you know she was doing it to us all the all day. She saw the kids out playing, so of course she want to be out playing. And sometimes you can't because sometimes the kid she might think the kids playing, but sometimes they be just really probably cleaning up or something like that you got to, you know she have like a little social anxiety and all that but sasha was a good dog too i loved her i loved her temper i loved her temperament i loved her attitude that demanding attitude and that don't don't touch me if i don't know you attitude you know i kind of like that here here you go quiet but that's it you guys i'm finna go let uh come here come tell him bye i should have showed you guys how he jumped on the bed but I'm going to uh, let go take Quavo out to go use the restroom. He just used the restroom. He probably want his toy in the bed. Going to get more toys to bring in the bed. Ain't that right, baby? Ain't that right, big boy? Ain't that right, big boy? Yeah. You looking for the kids? They gone. They left us. Baby. It's just me and you, baby. Look at this boy. That breath crazy. Come here. Come here, Quay. 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 Quite, quite. And you guys, I took him to PetSmart the other day. Leave that alone over there. I took him to PetSmart the other day to get his uh nails filed down. He acted a fool. Here. Come here. He acted a fool, you guys. A plum plum fool. I couldn't even record. I started recording, but I had to cut it off. Here. Here. Here, Quake. Here. 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 Come on. Get up here. Get up here. Come on. Y'all, he been all over there. My clothes pulling him out. Look at the nostrils. Sit. 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 Why you gotta be all up close on the camera? They're gonna talk about you. They're gonna talk about you. They can see right down your nostrils. Can you guys see that color up on him on per on color? Let me see. Stay. Stay. Sit. 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 Good boy. He like tricol on his arm. Let me see. Sit down. He merle on his arm. He like merle on his arm. Good boy. Hey, who did it to my baby? Who did it to my baby? Huh? He don't want to chew on my covers and he can't. I'm finna get your toy. Well, that's it, you guys. Let me go. Let me go get him what he want. Y'all know he's spoiled. You want your toy? Hmm? You want your toy? Ain't nothing in my hand that tastes like soap. Just got a shower. All right, you guys, but that's it for right now. We're going to wrap this video up. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me guys know what you think. Um, hit that bell for notifications. And don't let this don't don't let this be a downfall, you guys. Don't let don't let me don't think that this is going to be a downfall or anything. We still got a lot more work to do. We just beginning. But thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. And we out. BDPK.